What's going on guys? What's up everybody? We are back with another video. We are here to bring you some tips on the best places to source your sneakers to resell. So before we opened a shop, we operated completely online straight from our home. Um, I did a ton of online sourcing for my sneakers, grilled, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, offer up. We're gonna go one by one by some of the best places we have found successful for ourselves, uh, especially when we were first starting out. First place that we suggest to source for your sneakers to resell is Grailed. I would spend so much time online scrolling on Grailed, looking for good deals, um, basically looking for anything hype, Jordan ones, off-white. As I would come across a decent deal, I would negotiate with the seller, send an offer in. Uh, worst thing that they could do is not reply. Sometimes the price would make sense for me or it would not. Uh, I would just try to get the lowest price that I could and make a deal with the seller. Once I got that deal locked in, they shipped it to my house, I would legit check it and then make my profit margin. One nice thing about Grailed, it does have its own buyer protection um, and then it is also backed by PayPal. So if you get an item, you find out that it's fake, you can open up a PayPal claim uh, and then you are protected to return the item. So basically on Grailed, just open up the app, start scrolling, type in Jordan 1, type in Offway, or even just go to Sneaker, scroll the newly listed items and just keep going until you can find yourself a good deal. Send a million offers if you have to. You may only get three or four of them locked in, but it's the time and effort to go through all of them. Place number two is eBay. Same kind of thing. Open up the app, type in Off-White, type in Jordan 1. I usually go through newly listed because that's when some of the good deals can be sniped. One thing we do when we look at eBay listings is the seller's feedback. Yeah, obviously you want the most feedback, but we do understand that a lot of new people are using eBay to sell their items on, so you kind of got to have a middle ground with it. Um, I've scored some good deals with some zero <laughs> feedback people, but again, eBay has great, even better than uh, Grail Protection, eBay has great buyer protection. They offer money back guarantee for authenticity, uh, item as described, and then PayPal backs that as well. So I personally feel the safest buying off of eBay. And now with their authentication guaranteed, and I think that's with SneakerCon they... Yeah, I think they sent it to SneakerCon, and SneakerCon legit checks it, and then that's sort of like a StockX process. And honestly, we've never tried that yet, just because we've had our store open since before that has started. But prior to that, we definitely bought a lot off eBay. If you guys are super new and you're not sure what a good deal looks like on eBay, you can reference StockX for a brand new pair. You can reference Goat for a pre-owned pair. You can kind of see what that shoe is selling on both of those platforms and then calculate your profit margin on the item on eBay, Grailed, or whatever, wherever you find it. Third place to look, this one is kind of a sleeper. I used to find a lot of good deals on this app. Uh, just Reddit forms, they have sneaker forms, they have clothing forms. A lot of people on Reddit are kind of old school. They like stick to Reddit and that is their one social media app. So I have found a lot of good deals on there. Um, just go on there, search for sneaker forms. Get lost in the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> one thing about Reddit is you are buying from people. It's not a protected app, so you do have to be careful. If you are buying from them, you make sure you use PayPal invoice, make sure it is a detailed invoice. You are still protected by PayPal, but it is just a little bit more risky. So make sure to ask for photos, do your legit check, send it through check check however you want to do it but yeah reddit is a good place to source sneakers to resell all right guys number four we've got our local meetups you got facebook marketplace that's booming now we've got offer up um same thing hype in if you're looking for a specific shoe or even just very vague jordan one off white newly listed newly guys, listed, guys. Newly listed. yeah that is the key that is when most deals get posted people snipe those deals so you got to be quick on some but offer up facebook all those local places that is going to be the riskiest place to source your sneakers you are meeting up raw what you don't know this person you got to be very careful meet at a puff place police station um go with the parent go with an armed security guard <laughs> just be very careful with very local careful. meetup i've heard some horror stories so be careful Definitely for your safety and then also for the legitimacy of the shoes. It's a lot easier to scam somebody in person because they pay you cash and you'll never see that person ever again. You have no protection whatsoever. So yeah, if you're just getting started, I would probably not recommend local meetups just because something is going to seem like, oh, that's a great deal. Usually it's too good to be true. If it is a local meetup, they'll show up, they'll either rob you or sell you a really good fake. So just be very, very careful. Download some of the legit check apps use those to your benefit. They're not always bad, but just our little warning about them for sure. Yeah. So that is the four best places that we would recommend you sourcing your sneakers from. If you are just starting off, even if you're a veteran in the game, I'm sure a lot of you guys, uh, you know about these apps. You go on there daily, you 
find good deals. That is personally how I started. I didn't just jump into a store and just have all these shoes and everything brought to me. I put in the work. I did this online sourcing exactly what I just told you guys. I did it for three or four years straight. I would buy throughout the week. I would usually get like 50 or 60 pairs throughout the week and I would drop all 60 pairs on Saturday onto my website and then just rinse and repeat every single week for about three or four years. And that is basically what got me to my shop. I met a ton of cool people through all of the deal makings I've done over the years. So much network. I've actually met my dentist through reselling. So that was pretty cool. We met a lot of cool people just from the community of sneakers. Just from our area and then also all around the US really. And these people I've known for years, they come back to me. We have a great business relationship. I've built all of these relationships. If you guys are not working with a ton of capital, it is great to just do one pair at a time, make your profit, move on, do it again and again and again until you can get 20, 30, 50 pairs of shoes and rinse and repeat. But yeah guys, go check out those four places that we recommended to store some sneakers. Go try to snag some good deals and let us know in the comments if you guys found anything good. I remember when I first met her, I'd be on her phone for 28 out of the 24 hours of the day, you know? It takes a lot of time. I mean, you're scrolling on there, you're making deals. It takes a long time. People are listing new stuff all day, every day. You could refresh it one minute and literally a minute later you refresh again and there's another 10 items or 50 items, you know. Newly listed item, guys. Mark my words. If you guys have any more questions, drop a comment below. We're happy to answer, give you our experience, let you know what we know on all sneaker culture, sneaker reselling. We're happy to, to help everybody. Um, yeah, drop a comment below if you guys have any questions. If you thought this was helpful, give us a like. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already done so. But for now, we out. We out. <laughs>